welcome to this week's episode. Enjoy. It's time. Derange time. Let's get to it. Welcome to today's episode. Welcome to D-Range. Today, we're trying some more TMU ballistic products. At least they call it ballistic. Today, if you hadn't seen from the thumbnail, that's right, TMU ballistic backpack, book bag, whatever you want to call it for kids. Now, this one here, you want to see it up close? It's a Tigger-roo or Tigger-2 or whatever that is. I don't know what that says. It's got a lot of pockets in it. It's a pretty cool book bag. It's got pockets in the side. It's got a charging port right here where you can plug your computer in and then plug in right here and pull things out of it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I mean, it's, it's good and padded. It's got extra storage there. I don't know what that is, but either way, it's a bunch of stuff. It's a bunch of stuff to the bag. Now I have a laptop, one I've shot previously in the past, also crammed inside, because we know nowadays kids don't carry books anymore. Only thing they carry is maybe a laptop or something in their book bag. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna shoot this thing. Now this is a level two. Level two should stop anything up to a 357 caliber. Well, we're gonna do that today. We're gonna see how tough it is. The plate in this bag, It is, hold on, I'll show you. All right, here's your charging cord that's in there. The plate in this bag is right here in the front side. And it's just a soft plate. This is what it is here. It's just a soft plate. Level two. Not meaning you probably couldn't Throw a level three, three A, four, 25, 87. You can throw whatever you want to throw in there. The way books are in school, or used to be when I was in school, you wouldn't know the difference anyhow. Nowadays, they probably know. But, we can get this thing zipped back up. And, you know, very front pocket of this, you know, if you actually were to get shot in this, you'd be losing pencils and pins and stuff like we really care anyhow. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna kind of center that thing on five gallon, or I think that's a five, it may be a three and a half anyhow, one of the water jugs full of water. So we're gonna start out like any other time With cell phones making noise the whole time. We're gonna start out first of all, short and sweet, small. Got our Taurus 22. Gonna shoot 22 long rifle at it. First round, we'll shoot the round and then we'll go check it out. Just remember, things ain't always what they seem. Here we go, right in the center. One shot. All right, there's our shot. All right, let's unzip this compartment. And be sure, I'm sure it went through all of this. And yes, it went through. You can see it right there. I got my helper with me today. Say hey, Trinity. Hi. All right, and let's see. Let's see if it made it through the back side of this. I know this computer looks like it's been shot, but it has been before. It did not, did not go through. I can feel a dent right there. It didn't even shoot this. Yep, it didn't even, it didn't even hit the jug. All right. So we know the 22 didn't do a whole lot. So we're gonna step it up now. We're gonna go to a nine millimeter. 
And for all of y'all, yes, yes we are. Yes, y'all missed out. I'm just telling you, this is a great one. Really good nine, I'm just telling y'all. But, either way. Ooh. All right, I, I pulled that one to the right. Didn't that time. All right, so I get y'all up close. This is the one that I pulled to the left, I'm sorry. This is the one that I pulled to the left. This is where that one came out. Okay, so this right here, this is my nine, there's my 22 shot. In case you can't see it. I don't know if you can see it that good in this camera. There's my nine. Down there went in. And this. Uh-oh. Oh, we caught it. There it is right there. Alright. Okay, just so you can see. It did not go all the way through. All right, so 22, nine millimeter, neither one of them went through. That's pretty good. Now, for some of y'all, some people say a 357 is probably one of the next calibers. Some people say uh, a 45 is smaller than a 357. I'm gonna let y'all be the judge of that. We're gonna put a 45 through this, then we're gonna put a 357, and then we're gonna put a 45 probably long coat through it. And just see, just see what the, what the biggest difference is. I, for, for instance, think the 357 is a much hotter round than a 45, so therefore it's hotter, it's faster, that's what defeats armor. But um, either way, like I said, we'll see what happens, but we're gonna go with a 45 next. Here we go. Coming in hot. I'm trying to put these in different spots than the rest of them. I believe this is it right here because this is where I was aiming. So we're on this side. I'm just trying to move over and get around this plate some. I got a bulge in there. Some, some of y'all might know what that's like. I got no hole going through it. So there's your 45. There's your 9. There's your other 9 that I missed. There's your 22 got a 357 revolver here's your 357 round all right this thing's supposed to stop 357 now nothing bigger I think a 45 long Colt's got more in it than than this 357 has my opinion so we're going 357 next all right here we go 357 right in the center like it's some dirty hair Woo! Thing kick like a stubborn mule boy yowza all right let's go see now this is a level two if if it stopped this 357 there is right there that one there that's your 357 round we knew it went through there and there it is right there and there are 45s down there there's your nine, there's your 22. It did not go through. Done some, got some stuff dirty, but there's the bulge right there from it. If you can see it. We're gonna now try this Taurus Judge. Remember from a few videos ago. And we're gonna be shooting 45 long colts, just so you can see the difference. There's a 357, there's a 45 long colt. So I don't know. I'm not real sure. I'm thinking, thinking this 45 long coat is going to be way more. 45 long coat. I'll try to go maybe in that top little section right there. Either way, see what we can what we can do. Matter of fact, let's get a little closer on this one, just so you can see and I can see a little better. Here we go.
I'll bring you up here and let you see it, but it didn't go through neither. So, right now, that thing has stopped. A 22 long rifle. This is from Team U. Book bag, you could have bought it for your kid from Team U, of all places. Either way, it stopped a 22. It stopped a 9 millimeter. It stopped a 45. It has stopped a 357, which is what it's supposed to do. It just stopped a 45 long Colt. Well, should we try more? You know we're going to. And so we tried the 22, we tried the 9 millimeter, we tried the 45, we tried the 357, we tried the 45 long Colt. Now we're going to try the 223. This thing's not supposed to take it, take up, or uh, take this round either way. So we're going to put one in it. We're going to be pretty daggum close. If it stops this one, I don't know what to tell you. Didn't stop it. Guess what? Ain't supposed to stop it. But guess what? It stopped everything it was supposed to stop. Either way, y'all like it, you don't like it, either way, till the next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and peace.